So today I'm going to show you a little bit more about errors with a QBO file. Uh, there's been a, a major issue recently with like branding web connect errors with Intuit, whether it's again desktop or QuickBooks Online. And it's ultimately has to do with their what's known as the intu.bid number. It's Intuit Banking ID number. To show you a way around it, we'll go into LedgerSync's website as normal and we would go into the transactions tab as you can see here we've already gone through we've updated our check information our transaction information and we're at the point now that we just want to go and do a quick download we'll click on our export here and we're going to choose two QuickBooks and that's going to be your QBO file really the preferred way to go after doing the export it will then populate down to your desktop and at that point you would then take and you're going to try to push it into your QuickBooks desktop, which I will, I'll show you real quick, and you're not going to be able to get the, the file in. So if you end up with this error, again, banking, bank feeds, import web connect file. What we're going to teach you to do, the way you can get around this and the way you can correct it if, if need be, is click out of this, make sure that the file basically part closes again and then open up that file by doing a right click on the actual file and open it with either Excel or with a notepad Word document. So pulling up our QBO, I'm going to right click it as I said, open with Excel. And inside of here, what you're looking for is very easy, it's the INTU dot BID number, INTU dot BID. So this specific portion, that's what needs to be changed. Come up here, you're gonna take the 2002, is not a valid number, it's something I just kinda put in there. And the common universal number, it's actually Wells Fargo's number, but it's one that seems to always work, so people use it all the time, is 3000. After you type it in, to save it, you're gonna do your control S, and then hit yes. Do not go in and do a file save as because you'll end up changing away from that .qbo. Uh, that's why most people like to do it into a text. It's a little bit easier to have different um, uh, endings or file types in, in a text file. So then I'm gonna go click X, close it out, do not save this time. We'll go right back over to QuickBooks Desktop and this time we're gonna import it again. Um, I should mention that if you're having to do something like this, you really should check at your chart of accounts first for the lightning bolt to see if there's a pre-existing web connection still attached to the file that you want to push information into. So if we want to take this and, and put it into the union bank, because we're not having the right number, we need to disconnect this first. Quick right click. You're going to do edit account, go to your bank feed settings, deactivate all online services. Click save and continue. The warning that pops up is telling you that they've disconnected it, but the bank hasn't on their side. They'd still charge you. And now the lightning bolt is gone. Now you know that you have the ability to make a new connection. So I'll go up to my banking, go bank feeds, import choose my file open and now I'm gonna have to say where do I want it to go so I'm using existing one because we just made it available again this time my accounts available click OK click continue and boom the information is now available to go in now please keep in mind because you told it that universal number the branding that's why you have the Wells Fargo brand image over here. It's still going to the right account. As long as you match it to the right place, it's still in the right area. And you can go right back to the other one and it won't cause any concerns. It's just a nice little picture for the moment being. The rules you created, uh, hopefully you're taking advantage of those for the desktop. They still work. Everything else works exactly the same. Um, you're just having a different icon for the present moment. So you'd go through, you would input in your information like you normally would, and you're ready to go.
If you've got additional questions or looking for some advice, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly at info at parkwaymail.com. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.